in the heart of the Great Lakes State. Guys, you know how this big bad boat named the Bulldog runs. And tonight, got an excellent smooth rock and guitarist with me. World famous Tony Polizzi. And man, we've been talking all about your incredible work, brother. I'm telling you what, man. I, I, I love it, Tony. I'm thank you <laughs> for sharing your man, I just can't with me. believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, dude, it's all good, bro. I mean, yeah. what's happening? I am just, I'm truly blessed. Man. I'm truly blessed to be working with these people and these fine artists. And the, the, to me, they're the they're the best musicians on the planet, man. Man, I'm telling you, and, brother. They, 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 they're smart. They're smart. They know talent when they see it. That's why they're bringing you alongside to be a part of the family, man. You know what I mean, brother? I mean, yeah, yeah. This track with David Garfield's "Rainbow Seeker." Yes. He, he asked me to do this. Um, uh, Chuck Loeb was going to be on all this stuff. He did. Th- there was two versions of "Rainbow Seeker." He had this electric one you hear, and also an acoustic one you hear. And and unfortunately, Chuck passed before he could finish all this stuff. And then David asked me to finish it. So on the acoustic one, I played uh, background on Chuck. And this particular one here, um, David just had me do all of them and blew the electric solo and stuff. And, uh, and to me, that's just, to me, it was, I was so lucky to get that opportunity and thankful. Um, on this track is Marcus Miller mm-hmm. on bass. Wow. You know who that is? Yeah. <laughs> um, Steve <laughs> Jordan, who plays with the Rolling Stones Ooh. now. John Mayer. Wow. Um, Dean Parks who played with Steely Dan, who played all that stuff on Asia. Wow, man. And then the one and only Lenny Castro. Man, the man. Lenny, he is the most famous percussionist maybe in the history of this era, man. I mean, just he you can find Lenny Castro's name on thousands of songs with percussion, with, uh, percussion credits. I mean, yes. just an amazing person. What was that like working with Lenny? Was that fun for you? I mean, I, well, I only I, hear I mean, great he, things about I think he may overdub this on this. Um, I, I want to say that we have played live many times. Sure. And it's a joy to play live, <laughs> you know. I've done, awesome. you know, I've done gigs that we've come out and done it. And, and uh, yeah, I've had about four or five gigs with him, man. Bam. And he's played on some of my stuff, too, that's going to be coming out. So so I had that fortunate opportunity to develop relationships with these guys. I can just, hey, Lenny, man, I need some. Do you have a minute? (laughs) Yeah, man, but I got to go on the road with John Mayer next week. Can you throw me the tracks? I mean, to just have an opportunity to just do that. Yeah. Yeah, And just, you know, that's a dream. That's all I can ever ask for. That's all. Seriously. It's not. It's just knowing that, man. I can just talk to these cats. They're, they're awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> when you're you, they become, when your heroes become your friends, man. You know, it's like super, super surreal. I mean, in so many ways, man. Now, well, like I said, man, they're just people like me and you. Yeah, they're yeah. people like me and you, man. Man, you know, that's... everybody's got bills. They got to do this. They got to do that. That's it. You know, man, man. bringing people's lives joy through the the art of great, excellent music, too, man. And uh, brother. I'm telling you what, man, you've had such an incredible career, Tony. I mean, you know, like I said before, I got to have you back on the show, brother, because we haven't even started to unpack all of the great information. Oh, no, is this flying by, made. man? No, this is I great. Know. I'm having a great time. Man, I know. And I'm telling you, when you got to work on American Idol, you know, and you were the man on American Idol, man, you were you worked with so many uh, great talents that came off of the program. One of which, and we were talking about your range, of course, the amazing, young, talented man from Nashville named Scotty McCreary. And, brother, what was it like working with Scotty, man? I mean, that kid's cool, man. And, and it- Well, I mean, when, um, when Scotty showed up, man, I mean, like we were, you know, like I said, you know, I was hired to play the show. That's a whole thing in itself. But when sure. he uh, came on, I mean, he was just like, just the high school kid. Yeah, he was a you young know, it's like he played baseball. He did. <laughs> yeah. He had other interests and stuff. I don't know if he really thought he was going to man- manifest himself a, a country music career. Right. But uh, he had that thing, and um, he was able to capitalize on that. And uh, um, yeah. just, uh, it was great. Uh, we <laughs> funny story, man. In one of the competitions, um, one of the uh, segments, um, 
there's a shot. It starts with me on acoustic. We're doing James Taylor's "You Got a Friend," oh, wow. and then you, the the the, uh, the uh, camera pulls back, and then you see Scotty. Right before that whole segment, right there, I'm sitting down there. I'm waiting for the count up. I have my in-ear monitors, and Ray Chu, the musical director, he's looking at me. He says, "Tony, can you hear me?" Yeah, I mean, it's like, and I was told that I needed to be on stage like maybe maybe 10 hours before the live thing. So when you're on the stage like that, or if you're going to be called like that, you got to memorize stuff very fast or you're right. going to get out of there. Right. You know, right. this is the level that, that I've, that I've found myself. <laughs> in, so I better memorize stuff fast. So I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm doing my, I'm ready to get the acoustic intro and I'm sitting right to soup. I'm right in front of the judge panel. Who's, who's Steven Tyler? Man, Steven she, Tyler Jennifer, from Aerosmith. She, Jennifer man. Lopez. J Lo. Jackson. Okay, man. they're sitting right there, and I'm ready to go, and I'm look, and I'm just, I'm just in my thing. I'm in my mode, and I'm ready to play, and I'm ready to listen. And all of a sudden, hey Tony, and I look up, and Randy's talking to me, like, hey man, you having a good time? How you doing? I mean, it's like. Of all the times he's chosen to talk to me, is talking to right before we're doing the show, the song with Scotty. And then and I'm like, you know what? I'll talk to you later. Let me just get through this right now. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, no, there's, wow. we did that. And then, you know, yeah, Scotty ended up uh, recording several things, including uh, Are You Going to Kiss Me or Not? Yeah. Also, he ended up working with, uh, well, Don, uh, one of the producers was Don Was. Oh yeah, uh, from was not was. Yeah, of um, course, he, from he, Detroit, he was doing Michigan. A lot of producing on that show this uh, that that season too. Yeah, but um, yeah, Scotty is a joy to work with. I'm, I'm thrilled that you know he's gone on. He's developed his career, and it's cool. You know, we're just talking there, they, man. They, being on that show and after being like a teacher at Tri C in Cleveland, mm -hmm. you know, th like I said, they're beginning their careers, and you know, you kind of became like a coach for them. Yeah. You know, and. Yeah. At least I saw it. You know, we were there to support them. They're doing that. You Absolutely. know, in you know, in that way, and in, in on the show, and um, it was it was just cool, man. I mean, being on American Idol is one of the greatest experiences I ever had. Man, I love it, man. I'm telling you what, I see, I've saw, I've watched the videos, man. Brother, you can shred, man. You stepped up to the. You stepped up every single time the plate and knocked out a home run. Whether it didn't matter what genre. You know, because so many of these young talents, they're coming forward and they're playing different types of music. Brother, you shred, man. You're the man. And then you know how to smooth it out. I'm telling you, Tony, you got it where it matters, man. I'm telling dude, you. Dude, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, <laughs> it, I, dude, I appreciate that so much. And, you know, those other contestants of that one special year, James Durbin, he was oh, yeah. he was a hard rocking guy. You yeah. know, so that gave me <laughs> ability to go out there and do like a rock solo. Nice. And then you had Casey Abrams. Mm -hmm. And he is... Man, we got along so well. I mean, he's a jazz. He, he comes from a jazz background, so he plays a stand-up bass. He plays keyboards. Sing, he does it all. Wow. You know, and then even after the show, we we still do gigs. Wow. You know, we've done that. I remember the, the time that um, he called me like two months later. He said, "Hey, Tony, man, I gotta. Can you put a band together? We need to open up for Cheap Trick, <laughs> and we got to do it in Las Vegas." Whoa. So I call my friend Stacy Lamont Sidnor, and like three days later, we're in front of a packed crowd in front of Mandalay Bay, Whoa. opening up for Cheap Trick. Whoa. How cool is that? It's so awesome, man! <laughs> wow, Cheap yeah. Trick, man, they're one of the greatest, well, Hall of Famers, man. But I mean, one of the greatest rock bands to ever come out of the Midwest, man. That's yeah, got to be, absolutely. I mean, one of the greatest bands in the world, man. They, were, they were very nice people. Wow. Very man. nice. Wow. Absolutely. That's incredible. Man, let's play a track right now from Scotty. And you guys all know this song. This has nothing to do with Ya Rock, but of course it's a hit country music song. Scotty McCreary. You're sitting up there on your mama's roof and talking about everything under the moon with the smell of honeysuckle and your perfume. And all I could think about was my next move Oh, but you were so shy, so was I Maybe that's why it was so hard to believe When you smiled and said to me Are you gonna kiss me or not? Are we gonna do this or what? I think you know I like you, hey, Are you gonna kiss me or not? It was the 
Best thing kiss that I'd ever had Except for that long one after that And I knew if I wanted this thing to last Sooner or later I'd have to ask for your hand So I took a chance, bought a wedding band And I got down on one knee And you smiled and said to me Are you gonna kiss me or not? Are we gonna do this or what? You know I love you, hey, like, I think we got a real good shot Are you gonna kiss me or not? So we planned it all out for the middle of June From the wedding cake to the honeymoon And your mama cried when you walked down the aisle When the preacher man said, say I do I did when you did too Then I lifted that veil And saw your pretty smile And I said Are you gonna kiss me or not? Are we gonna do this or what? Just look at all the love I'm telling you what, guys, that's where it's at right there. Scotty, I mean, the man, he's incredible. And you're sailing with Captain Kyle right now on the Smooth Rockin' Airways, my special guest tonight, Tony Polizzi. And, guys, you know, i, I got to pinch myself. I mean, this is just incredible, incredible stuff, guys. Time for the weather tonight. Chance of rain and snow with a low near 32 Tuesday. Chance of snow in the morning with a high near 30. And then Wednesday, guys, there is a winter storm watch. Winter storm watch will be in effect. A freezing rain will be expected with a high near 34 on Wednesday. Currently right now in the heart of the Great Lakes State, it is 38 degrees. Of course, I'm joined by my friend Tony Polizzi. And the man is brilliant. And, brother, I'm telling you what, man, you've... You, you blow me away. You go work the country. You go work the soul. And then yet you still have Tony P. Style coming into the studio, man. And you have a great song that you released uh, just a few. Uh, now, now, I'm seeing this just for the first time because, of course, I'm using a file that just popped up from three months ago. But I love this track, brother. It's called Take Heed, man. Tony, super awesome song, man. Can you tell us a little bit about Take Heed, man? Yes, I can. I can. I and make a long story short. After Natalie's death, I was like, man, I was just man. We we were we were all just trying to reassess what we were going to do and stuff. And and um, I when when I did come out to L.A., I stopped make write, writing my own songs because I knew I had to come out and I had to make a living. Absolutely. I had to play for this, but I mean, you just can't come out here and just do your own stuff, you know. No. So. What had happened is like I just went into writing mode and I went I wrote about fifteen pieces of music and then I had the Natalie Cole band come in and play all that music. And the the four songs that I released as an E P are um four songs from two different sessions. Wow. And uh, even to their guide when I did the first session, they're like, Tony, I think you should go harder in this direction. <laughs> Try that. So then I came back with another, you know, eight and then we, we did the two sessions a year apart. Wow. So, take heed, man. Is that that's from the second sessions, and um, I end up playing mandolin on that as well. Yes, I was going to um, say. Keyboards, I was going to say. There's some mandolin is, this on this. The song is about staying on the straight and narrow. I mean, look, man. I live in a place in L.A. Man, there's like social problems. There's homelessness. There's, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's a, t- a, pr- a tough place to live. And also, you, you can get in a lot of trouble yourself. There's you know, yeah. any, any any facet, it's a rough town to live in. Yeah. It's not for the weary. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, 
there's paths that we can choose, but the right path can always be very difficult. But when you need to stay on the straight and narrow, there's a path for you. You just have to you you just have to do that. You got to take care of business, and that's what take heed is all about. Man, words of wisdom from Tony Pizzi, guys, my friend, my special guest tonight. Man, you're gonna love this song. You know I love rocking this, yeah, until the sales drop. Tony P, take heed, WKUF. There's nothing to say. guys you're sailing with captain kyle on these smooth rocking airwaves tonight and uh you know we are rolling guys and so excited you know to have our special guest with us and uh you know tony's been 
you know, just going over all the ma- amazing things that he's done in the music business. It's such an honor, Tony, to have you with us. And I got a surprise for you, Tony. I got a big surprise oh, yeah? for you. You got a surprise for me? I got a surprise for you, brother. Wow. Your fellow bandmate from Tennington Park is with us right now on the phone. The man. I'm telling you what, the man that's always working hard. So proud of him. Mr. John Zaka. John, how's it going tonight, my friend? Permission to step aboard, Captain Kyle. Permission granted, as always. As always. You know, I've always got... Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, John. What's up, man? Great, man. Am I stepping into the Tony uh, Tony couple hours here? This is great. Tony's such a great player and so gifted at what he does and his writing and everything. So this is an honor to be on here for a second and chime in. Man, I'm telling you what, brother. Hey, you guys, you guys have been working on, you know, Tennington Park now. And, of course, as soon as I heard Work to Do and I played it, I just so many people that, you know, have reached out through the smooth music community are, you know, wanting more from you guys, you know, as far as, like, more releases and cuts. I know one thing, Tennington Park has got so much, you know, uh, uh, backing behind it from the smooth rocking community and how do you guys i mean do you guys i i know you guys are are friends and you guys are professionals you know is it a how thrilling is it to be able for you guys to be able to work with you know of course bill champlin you know he's one of the men also a part of tennington park and mickey Mickey, thomas mickey of course mickey thomas wow you know i mean how thrilling is that guys i mean you guys are really uh, uh, a rock super band in a lot of ways, you know. Mm. Tony, you want to take this? Well, I I want to say that I I thank you for the just the opportunity for me to work with these cats. But you know how we got hooked up was with through Joel Taylor. Oh yeah, correct. And, right, but, right. And he's on these tracks that you've been working on. But when I came in from Cleveland, he was coming into Cleveland playing with ohm he was playing with alan holdsworth and that's how i got to know joel and that was before 2009 before i moved out here when i then i came out here and i ended up just playing with him in other ensembles so i developed a good relationship with joel and even when he's playing with uh, mitch and and eric marenthal i got to know them and then i didn't i didn't know that you guys really worked together i didn't and then well uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll correct a little okay. of this because I think that what happened was I was doing stuff with Joel and Mitch and somehow our paths crossed over social media and I was still living in L.A. at the time over yeah. in Pasadena and you commented on a post and sent a message and then we kind of introduced each other to each other at that point and talked and I said, well, it'd be great to play with you sometime and then this Tennington Park thing started up and, and you and I were kind of talking over social media or sending messages back and forth. And and then I said, hey, you want to give it a whirl? Wow. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And we started with <laughs> Rhett with uh, awesome. Open Arms. Yes, Open Arms. Wow. Yeah, and then I on said to Will. 35 tracks? <laughs> 135. <laughs> <laughs> and none of it subgrouped. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, no, you know, but it was a breath of fresh air. You know, I love getting, I mean, as doing what I do on this end, it's, it's always a breath of fresh air, pretty good, clean tracks and everything leveled out and clean punches. And because sometimes you get stuff and there's hums and clicks and pops and snot and there's all (laughs) kinds of stuff going on. Somebody's mother yelling at him in the background or girlfriend or you know, it's like this was like pristine. Everything was gain structured perfectly. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was blown away how clean his tracks were. Man, I'm telling you, Tony's the man. I mean, you bring man, it every playing. time, man. Man, wow. I'm telling you. The range. We were just talking about that a second ago, John. I mean, you know, Tony's got it. You know, he's got it. He can play almost He's anything. got a deep catalog, man. He's, sure he's been a part of some crazy great stuff. And, uh, you know, I was honored to have him on here, and then we just continued forward with Will Champlin on that recover of Layla, and then, uh, oh, yeah. you know, work to do. Uh, I was coming out there to transfer some reels and doing some uh, stuff with the 
Kimball, I think I was starting the Kimball documentary at the time. And, Kite on the string. And we, were, we wanted to track live because that's, it was reminiscent of how I tracked that first Kimball record. And there's something to be said for that when guys are all in one room and the chemistry, they play off of each other versus, you know, we have to kind of do things sending files back and forth now where it's easier. Mm -hmm. But then there's also something so great about when the guys are together in the studio and people are playing off of each other. Right. It just, you get some magical stuff that happens that wouldn't happen if a guy's sitting in his own studio whacking away at a track. So, Absolutely. I don't know. For me, it was really cool. Man, I'm telling and, you. And then, and then Tony's continued on. He's played on a few of the Kimball songs for the reboot and the Sweet. soundtrack to Kite on a String. And oh, we've awesome. started this long relationship. We talk all the time. We talk about business stuff, and tracking and Hopefully we'll get back to Tennington Park here soon. Uh, a little buried with the documentary, but I would love to get back there. We have, you know, some special guest singers we've been talking about, and who knows who's going to be coming down the pike. I can't say, but it, it'll be special. <laughs> wow, man. I'm so excited. I want to hear it. I'm telling you, because <laughs> Tennington Park, you guys have the layers, sophistication. You bring all the best as far as smooth oh. rocking, man. I'm telling you. Uh, if I can say something there, there was nothing really super planned out in that whole thing. Uh, you know, we just went with our feeling. And, you know, the more as you're going through these songs, you're like, ah, maybe this would be great. Uh, it wasn't like we sat down and mapped out, okay, we're going to start with this song and this singer, mm -hmm. and we're going to go to here. We're going to make this sound like that. It was just all feeling. So that being said, you the great thing about Tennington Park is you don't know what kind of style you're going to get thrown at you next. Yeah. Really? Tony, you know? Tony, do you feel that too, man? Like you feel your creative juices start flowing when you're in the room with the cats and, you know, because I mean, brother, you're incredibly versatile. I know, you know, you got, you know, so much range there, you know, do you feel, does that give you some fuel? It creates, it and there's creatively? nothing like a bunch of cats vibing in the studio because that's the way it should be. It should be. And I know that today's technology, you know, we're all pumping out tracks and things like that. But still, I I want to attain that vibeness. And John is right there, you know, with the first song with the open arms. or with, I mean, he, he gave me the opportunity to experiment, but he was very good at directing on what he wanted. But he let me grow the arrangements, too, because if he wanted to change something, like a solo or something like that, you know, give me this. So then he had me think in a different way, and then he expanded my repertoire even more. So I have to thank you, that for John. Thank you so much. Well, there's a couple things I learned along the way that were invaluable, and one of them was from the famous Tom Dowd. Who, I mean, just look him up. He was <laughs> he was so rich in his history, the producer, and from Hyde Street, and he walked in because his session wasn't going well upstairs. His his artist was not showing up and there was stuff going on and it was disrespectful, but Tom has all that rich history and he kind of mentored me a little bit. It was only a few days, but he, he was just like, man, you're doing the right thing. Let these cats play. I'm never one to sit there and tell, I think you cut, you cut yourself off. If you tell these guys, I want you to do this. I want you to do that basic. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be in, Four four instead of three four on open arms. Okay, that's basic. But to, for me to say to Tony, hey Tony, I think you should chicken pick, you know, across this whole track and then do a lead. Nah, because you, then you don't get what's inside of these guys. That's what makes them exactly. so amazing. Him, Mitchell, all these guys. They're Joel. They're so amazing that you let them flourish and Absolutely. let them feel the track. So then you talk about it in the end. That's the way I and Lorber, you know, a little of that. Lorber always told me groove is king. Mm -hmm. You know, the groove is king. Just That's remember right. that. That's right, man. You guys have all the grooves, man. You're a great producer, John. That's why people mm. want to work with you, brother. You know, and I, I wouldn't thing. be any where I wouldn't it's these guys, you know. I'm you saying. surround yourself with the best and you get better results you surround yourself with uh chicken poop you got chicken poop, you know? <laughs> well i know one thing's for sure you guys are the stuffing on the egg mcmuffin i'm telling you because when i heard <laughs> teddington wow. park man i'm, I'm telling happy you happy meal to go man. happy meal to go Dude. <laughs> uh oh everybody knows. Right. 
Everybody knows and loves this track, guys, and I know you're going to love it, too, because we play it here at Captain Kyle all the time because it's so good, guys, and it's just, oh, I love it. Work to do, guys. Teddington Park featuring, of course, Bill Champlin, Mickey Thomas, my friend John Zeka, who's just joining us right now, and, of course, Tony Polizzi. Thank you so much, guys, for rolling with me right now. I'm telling you, i got to pinch myself when I get to listen to this track and listen to it with you guys. You're amazing. You're amazing. Man, you're sailing, <laughs> you're sailing with Captain Kyle in Tennington Park. Baby! The KUF.
man. Teddington Park, y'all. Oh, incredible. Incredible. I'm telling you, guys, smooth and approved. Very much looking forward to hearing more from you guys, Tony. I mean, in the years, you know, to come because, man, you know, in the smooth rock community, man, Teddington Park, it's like everyone's on the sitting on the edge of their chairs waiting to hear you guys and what else you guys can do. I mean, there's so much power and layers there. It's like, you know, it's like listening to Chicago again, you know, but harder rocking, you know what I mean? And you got two tenors, too, in the band. Brother. Oh, yeah. Man. I, I'm, I'm just, I can't believe I'm playing with Larry Carlton's son on bass. <laughs> I mean, what? Are you, you want to what? Well, sure. <laughs> no, Travis is awesome, man. Man. Travis is great. Another brilliant man, Larry Carlton, man. You know, and Travis, man. Tony, you've done it all, man. I mean, and you're going to keep doing it all because you're great, man. More people are, I can tell the future is bright, brother. You know, you've worked, you put the work in, man. You had work to do and you did it, man. I mean, you persevered through a lot of situations in life in order to let destiny unfold. The way that it should for you, brother, and I'm proud of you, man. Because thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, ninety percent of no, ten percent of of life is what happens to you. The other ninety percent is how you react towards it. Oh yeah, you know. So it's like, I mean, you, yeah, it's a big part of your choices. You have a choice to do this. You have a choice to do that. You know, you just you, you know, it's not who you know. It's not. It's who you avoid. Man. You know, <laughs> you've got you've got to. Think about those things as we go through these things. Yeah. You know? Man, well, I'm telling you what, you've navigated the waters well, man, in the music industry. And you've made the right call. You've made the right connections, man. you got a great team with Tennington Park pushing forward, man. We cannot wait. As music fans, we can't wait, man. You know, it's going to be great, man, to hear more work from you guys. Yeah, I'm a lucky guy. I'm yeah. a lucky guy. And John is a great producer. And just sure the whole is. thing with the Bobby's documentary and the, the, yeah. the album yeah. – how we are, are going to honor him is just it's one of the biggest things i've special things i've ever been a part of Man. and i am so excited guys tony p he's talking about kind of a string of course the documentary about the life of the amazing bobby kimball and his friendship with john zaka and you know tony is a part of that soundtrack guys a lot of the friends of john and bobby are there very special highly anticipated we know here at the end of the year, everybody's going to be waiting to see it. And so as Toto fans, brother, I'm on, I'm waiting, you know, like, I'm just like, oh man, Bobby Kimball, man. He was like one of my heroes, Tony, growing up, man. You know, you've, you've been, you've been able to work with Bob, with Bobby and, you know, just uh, those old Toto videos, man, when I saw just that fire he had, man, you know, it was like, I wanted to be Bobby Kimball. I wanted to put on the, the three piece suit. And then work it real hard on the first song where I got to tear the sports coat off and just go vest style for the rest of the way in the slacks, man, and just rock it out, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, was, yeah. he was my inspiration for smooth rocking, man. I'm telling you. Man, guys, you're sailing with Captain Kyle. And my, my guest right now, Tony Polizzi. Tony P, guys, we're rolling. Time for the weather one last time tonight. Chance of rain and snow with a low near 32 tonight. Tuesday, chance of snow in the morning. The high around 30. Wednesday, there will be a winter storm watch in effect. Okay, we should expect freezing rain throughout the day. It will be a high near 34, so that stuff's going to be melting off. So be careful on the roads on Wednesday, guys. Get out the door a little bit early. Try to take your time getting home. Currently right now in the heart of the Great Lake State, it's 38. I'm joined by my friend, Tony Polizzi, Tony P. Man, Tony, I wish I had another... Th- Two hours, man. You know, so we can. Oh, dude. <laughs> We're not even in. T- I mean, I'm just. I'm thinking things clearly. I'm trying to communicate to you. You've just been a great host, man. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. It's my honor, yeah. man. I'm telling you, brother. There was a band, of course, from Detroit, Michigan. One of the greatest. Uh, you know, and, and by standards today, guys would say that this band may have been one of the bands that. In, influence boy bands around the world. It sounds as crazy as it does, but the truth is, is that the Mighty Temptations from Detroit, Michigan, brother Otis and the Boys, you know David Ruffin, you know they they set the standard here for Motown, man. I mean them and Smokey Robinson, you know, of course, another genius, 
you know they there are there there are pride and joy here you know in, in this area of the midwest and they they set the soul standard for the entire world man sort of growing up in the 60s At, and 70s. No, absolutely yeah. and um it was just my joy and my privilege to work on the 60th anniversary record that this song comes off of wow. um this particular session that i worked on it's it's another thing of a very very uh a great opportunity that once again david garfield the man yes, yes. um he was doing the, the doing the uh the charts with Smokey and and david worked together they've worked on some of his songs too he has and they brought him in to do the uh the session and um paul jackson jr wow was the original session player that was supposed to be on here you know who that is paul jackson jr oh yes man and um he, he just he and he was unavailable so they called me and i'm like <laughs> tony you want to do a session with Smokey? i'm like yes you gotta be yes absolutely <laughs> excellent and i didn't know really what it was going to be and so i showed up and wow. steve ferrone was there wow. the drummer for tom petty and the heartbreakers wow. and also ready freddie washington the, the bassist for steely dan Man. and me on guitar and Smokey was there, and we cut this song. Um, and we were all, in, it was still during COVID time. Wow. So we were all in individual rooms. We had monitors. Sure. And, um, you know, we did, I think it was one or two takes, and we did it. But they weren't, they were, I was, I, it was a 60th anniversary, Temptations. And I, I went off of it as an angle, you know, it's like, you know, I'm going to give them some different kinds of stuff. I'm going to give them some updated kinds of lines, some flutterings or you know new updated stuff and mm -hmm. you know i did that track and david came in and it's like you know what try this do that <laughs> and i did another take and i was like oh i still was incorporating those new neo soul kinds of things and then after that last take i got that moniker and he says tony get in here Smokey wants to talk to you and i'm like oh no i'm done that's it I'm, I'm fired. What? <laughs> <laughs> in the control room, Smokey's sitting there. He has me sit down. He said, hey, Tony, man, just be simple. You should be twangy. You should be twangy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. All right. So <laughs> I, I go back into the control room, and I'm like, okay, this is it. I better get this right, or I'm not going to get it right. And what happened is like, you know what? I'm just going to play my same Motown wedding grooves, my girl, oh, everything man. that made Motown Motown. Yeah. And I did it. And they, they got on the mirror and says, Tony, we loved it, man. That was great. They even walked, both of them walked in the room. They said, man, that was great. That yeah. was great. And they, they kind of escorted me out. And we listened to the track and they like, this is it. Wow. And like, Otis was in there too. The last surviving member of the Temptations wow. listening to this. And this is the song. This is the first single off the song. Bro. Is it going to be yes or no? And Smokey Robinson is also in there singing lead. Wow. And that was a big dude, man. I went home and I was like, oh, I was like, I was going to have a heart attack. I said, man, that was a big deal. I even texted David back. That, that was a big deal. He was like, Tony, you were great. I was like, <laughs> I was just so happy that I could please Smokey. Man. Because he wrote My Girl. He wrote all those classic songs. Oh, he's one of the greatest. And I, I learned a lesson that day. Man. You got to you gotta do what brought them to the party. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, I, I'm still, you know, weaving my way here as a session musician. I'm still new on the scene, if you can say. Mm -hmm. But I had an opportunity, and I made the best out of that opportunity. And, um, well, and that's the story about that, man. Man. I, I'm just going to say this right now. The bottom line is you have to be one in a billion, guys, in order to get on a track with the Temptations and Smokey Robinson, man. And, Tony, man, I'm telling you what, brother, I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of I, you, man. I, but I want to say this, though. I, I have to credit these other musicians. You just don't get there. It's recommendation and reputation. You know, David had faith in me, and I want to – thank him for that yeah. you know i want to thank him that i was on those gigs so you know robbie could see me play yeah you know yeah and it, it's just it's that you know yeah, it, so he, he he trusted me and had faith in me and i'm glad it all worked out isn't it crazy how destiny works my friend you know yeah. i mean 
You just don't see how those doors are going to open up and all of a sudden they open. You do your part in going through them and doing the work that you have to do. And then more doors open up. And it's like you start seeing a whole new light in your life like you never imagined because you're allowing the the destiny to unfold before you. You know what I mean? Because you're doing your part and you're, you're taking those opportunities and making the most of them, man. Thank you, man. No, so thank proud you. of you. No, I just I work hard. I get up in the morning. You know, you're in L.A. You know, you, you don't know what's going to happen the day you wake up. Man. You <laughs> never know what the day is going to bring. It's true. There might be an earthquake. <laughs> you don't know. It could happen. You know. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah. brother, I'm telling you what. You are a force of nature, Tony. And everybody here in Mid Michigan is going to love this track. Oh, play it. Boom, boom, it's here. Boom. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. Mighty Temptations, y'all. Smokey Robinson, my friend. Tony Polizzi, of course, playing on this track. And you're rolling with Captain Kyle. In the home stretch, WKUF.
I had to take a minute there, guys, because that was gorgeous. The Temptations featuring Smokey Robinson. Is it going to be yes or no? Man, my friend, Tony P, Tony Polizzi, playing with the Kyle, cats on that Kyle, track. Kyle, it's my pleasure, sir. <laughs> Man, Tony. Man, that was... That was something special, man, especially for the folks here in mid-Michigan who, you know, in, in the city of the heart of the Great Lake State and the great city of Flint, we're, you know, this is where we grew up on the on Motown, man. I'm yes. telling you, you brought them a lot of justice, man, by playing so smooth for them. And, man, I know they appreciated it, man. You know, I, man, every time I hear Smokey sing, man, it just brings sunshine out in the darkest places, man. You know, and yeah, man, it's beautiful, man. I'm telling you, guys, it's been an honor. It's been an honor, guys. Tony, you've, I gotta say right now because the stories that you told tonight were incredible. Would you be willing to come back on board with us here on the big bad boat named the Bulldog down the road in a couple of months, and we'll dive man, more into you? Absolutely, your... yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. Yeah, we got, we got. We got stories flying around. We'll figure out which ones that need to be told, the yeah. important ones, and and and, so, and and stories that will teach, you know, you know that thing, things that I had to learn, and uh, teachable moments that you know there's 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 development that I had to go through too, and you've heard a couple tonight, yeah. and um, it's just important to get get these messages out there that you know get th- these. To, to reach levels like this, it's possible, but you you have to be you have to be willing to take those risks and sacrifices as well. But you know, keep a good head on your shoulders as well. Yes, yes. brother, your career is a testament to sacrifice and to hard work, man, and uh, never giving up. You know, on what you know you're destined to do, man. And uh, man, it's inspiring, man. I got to say that, Tony. Thank you so much for taking time tonight to hang out with me and just tell a few stories of, you know, this incredible career that you've had, brother. And, man, before we go, I want to play one more of your masterpieces, man. And I love this song, Tony. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about this one. It's called A Moment in Time, man. Absolutely. um, Yeah, this is from the seconds of the sessions. Um, I want to get too proggy here, but this song is actually a third song in a three song act but this is the song that was finished first so the last song was finished first it's kind of like the tubes the completion backward principle the <laughs> idea that you start at the end and you get to the beginning <laughs> like anyway a- anyway um anyway <laughs> moment in time this song is about moving on and how hard it can seem sometimes and letting go of the past yeah. severing the self-personal ties that are holding you back for new development, but you are in the only one in your way. Yeah. And you have to make that decision to let go. That that could be just you are living in the past. That could be like a, a personal problem with a relationship or or memories that you're holding on to, but you're not growing. You know, it's like you're you're looking at your old pictures, like, man, I wish our band was so great, you know, thirty years ago, man. But you're you're thinking about that, but you're not trying to you're not spending energy on trying to build towards the future. And I had that I had a lot of that problem too. You know, we we can't be living in the past. I can't be the same person 25 years ago. No. no. So this song is about breaking free and letting go. And it, it takes a moment. You are the only one in your way. Yeah. Man. And that's what that song is about. Moving on. Man. Leaving the past behind. Growing. Man. Dude, I'm telling you what, honestly, Tony, in the next few weeks here, if I have any problem getting out of bed, man, I'm going to turn on this episode and I'm going to listen to those words of wisdom, brother, because they are motivating, man. I'm telling you, man, burn the ships. Don't turn back. You got something. No, you got to go forward. forward. St- yeah, the, the lyrics, stairs forward, yeah. steps ready to burn. Because you're walking up, you make those steps, you're you're not going to go down there. You're not going to go down the, the stairs anymore. Steps. You're not going to go down the steps. Stairs forward. Steps ready to burn. Man. And that's, 
that's the lyrics of the song. Man, what a way to end you know, to end the show tonight, to leave us with something so much more to look forward to the next time that you come on board, Tony. Thank you so much, brother. You're amazing, oh, thank man. thank you. Thank you. I love you, bro. Man, I awesome. love this guy. I love him, too, man. Man, Tony, you're the man, guys. You got to put your hands together one more time for Tony P, Mr. Tony Polizzi. Man, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, brother. Man, such an honor, man. And oh, Thank you, Kyle. Oh, man, it's my honor. Guys, he's the man. He's the man. You're going to love this one, guys. Tune in next week. You know we're going to get into more trouble, y'all. You've been sailing with Captain Colony Smooth Rockin' Airwaves, WKUFLP Flint, 94.3 FM.
sailing with Captain Kyle on WKUF.